Hello guys, my name is Alexander Kuyava and I am a visual artist and head of video mapping store. And in this video I would like to show you how to can use uh, video mapping loops. It's a 3D displaced uh, effect visuals for projection mapping. And I want to show you how you can use it in Adobe After Effects and how you can apply different effects or use it without any effects or third party plugins. As you can see in Video Mapping Store, we have uh, produced and rendered for you a lot of different video mapping loops for different um, venue, for architectural projection, for object projection, for full dome visuals, performance and so on. And as you can see, we also have done it in different resolution, in full HD, in 4K and also in ultra wide for large scale and wide scale projection mapping. It was produced in different animation effects, so you can see just different um, ge geometric shapes and pat patterns, so you can use it easily with your uh, texture of your facade or architecture. So let's start. So first of all, I will open my video mapping loops. produce it for large scale venue. Normally as you can see video mapping it's a game of light and shadow and if you for example on your content on projection have a black background on projection you cannot um, projector video projector as equipment cannot um, light as black color yes it will be like a depth it will be like a hole in your facade so in this case to manipulate with light and shadow in this way we can create a specific 3d effect in our building so let's open it in this part i will choose randomly different different uh, visuals from different packs so you see the difference This one we have done for full dome projection, but you also probably can use it for architectural projection map if you need. Nice ready effect. Let's take this one. So next what you need to do is open your uh, facade texture, your photo of your building. It will be great if you have totally front view. I will show it like this, just for preview to see how it works, okay? So you can see it better. And then what you need to do is just open, create new composition. Okay, and then just put your loop composition, loop to replace composition to the main composition. Okay, and then you can just press blend in mode and stencil loop effect. Normally, normally, you can simply add your content here, okay, simply, but if you will put it to replace, it will be more easier for you because then you have just need to change your settings and that's it. And the most replace file will be here. So let's see. So I will delete. Now we can just add brightness or contrast. So as you can see, using just simple video mapping loops, you can just create um, 
uh, effect of falling walls. It depends on your video mapping content, video mapping loops pack which you have. If we, for example, just change it to second ones. Yes. You can see it, how it's easy and quickly you can just create your 3D effect. Let's replace with some other. Mm -hmm. I will do it a bit faster. Still need to make more faster. Okay. No, let's try. Some of you in feedback asked me how we can also change a texture, how we can also change the texture of this file. So I want to show you how you can do it quickly using inbound effect in uh, Adobe After Effects. So what you need to do, just open, press your layer uh, of uh, texture facade and just open distortion and displacement map. And here just put loop replace. Okay. And now you can see you can displace your texture with the um, video mapping loop. You can see this brilliant liquid effect also, which you can add. Okay, let's try some other loop. I want to show you different types of video mapping loops, just you see how it works. So as I said, video projection mapping is just a game of light and shadow. Manipulate with light and shadow, you can just create an awesome 3D effect like it. For sure, with video mapping loops, you can just create your some short performance, but it will be much more better if you can just mix with your own content and also add some different uh, custom graphics to your performance. Anyway, 3D mapping loops is a very nice 3D visuals which you can help create 3D effect on your building. So we need add more brightness. Like it for example. Nice wireframe effect. the live architecture. <laughs> also I want to show you how it can look on some other architecture. For example this one. I will set it like it just for preview. And also add displacement map. So it's very easy, very quickly, and you can manipulate with your facade. So prepare different composition, just then render and then mix.
Okay. Let's render. As you can see, video mapping loop will create a shadow effect and 3D effect, and the um, displacement map effect will displace the um, texture of your facade also. Okay, and let's also see how it will work our full DOM visuals on architecture. So as you can see, it we will render it in 4K resolution, so it's two times more as full HD. The quality is pretty enough. And one more thing about timing I want to show you in this video tutorial. When you pre produce your video composition turn, as you can see all our loop, all our visuals, we do like in three parts. So first it's intro, when the object is appear, then totally white background. So it's like a middle point of for transition or for timing, for future timing. What I will show you now, and then it's outro when the object is disappeared. So in this case, you can, for example, precompose your scene. Oh, well, precompose. Yes, and if you need to do it more longer, just put to the, in your timeline. Check the center and press here freeze frame it will be set the keyframe as hold keyframe so we need to change interpolation of this keyframe so open it up and press linear ok and in this case you need also animate the first 0 0.0k so press here 0 so it will be so what we do we animate we do same animation but now it will be freeze on this frame so you can just copy this k use animation how you will need now you can copy this frame prolong your layer and timeline how you need for example more six second gen set the, this keyframe and then go more for sec second for outro okay a little bit fast so you can just more prolong more Anyway, this full DOM visuals was uh, producing in 60 frames per second, so you can just really would prolong it to, to two times more. So if you have standing uh, composition in 29 frames per second, so this time you can this animation of timing you can prolong twice. So let's now 
see what we can do in Resolum with these videos. As you can see, mixing already prepared your video composition with video mapping loops. It's very easy and you can just create different VJ sets and video mapping projection mix as you would like. And our video mapping loops will help you to achieve best 3D depth effect on your facade projection. So welcome to the video mapping store and here you find different video mapping loops packs and also some different uh, effects for video mapping projection so toolkits, visuals for full dome, for stage mapping, for video mapping cake, video cake and so on.